da 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 do we like to party? Architects just wanna have fun, no architects just wanna have fun. Simon Banyos gives a post talk at Bank Space Gallery. I do not like pixel style, although very popular retro now. I really like the color of the sky, but the tube too bright green. I do not really like the way the clouds, but mushrooms are also good. I've seen this work the artist. I like these colors, but look at the pictures I would think some of these strange space. In other words, the color I like. But when they are combined in this way together, I am not so fond of But I think when I was standing inside the room, maybe it'll change my mind. After all, image and reality is still a big gap. Especially space hushed face. I think this is something like a spherical precision instrument. Through the trees is a reference. Feeling the ball really huge anguish at the same time. The ball gives me a sense of security. I think that when I stood inside, maybe I'm invisible. Other people could not find me, could not touch me. No want to sleep in it. Sleeping spends some of the long time. So I think it came out again. Ah, uh, I am not totally in love with this video expressionless. I feel it general, black and white origin. It makes me want to draft between the Aoi and Japanese artist. I like the background of triangle geometric elements and video appear bright yellow. And this video is the post synthesis. And it will use some computer technology to achieve this effect. Remove background, reserved person. But it does not completely remove the background, so I do not like it. But I think this video is the pursuit of this style. He is doing this intentionally. Personally, I do not have too much of this material for plastics favor, although there are very many plastic a little, but it always left me with a very cheap impression. However, if such a device in the streets, I would think this is very interesting. Because the plastic inflatable device must have some flexibility, it may be based on your actions and change, which must be very interesting. But I do not want to stand there, because I will feel pressure. Plastic gave me the feeling of suffocation, especially when they are very close around me. I feel like this picture. I really like geometry, especially the triangle grin grin rectangular in general, but the background of pink and red fluorescent green geometry very match. I also like the dark blue top level geometry. I love this space, the lamp hidden in the wall. The light is very soft, the bench looks very good. Generally have such a space in the museums or galleries or exhibition hall. I would like to have been sitting there. I like the texture of this material. The shadow feels very comfortable. I hope that my studio is this style. Ha 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 ha. I do not know why. When I see this picture, I think it is the London Underground Subway. In fact, I quite like the maze. If I were in the maze, I do not feel nervous. I feel I'm what I can. And that's what I will. The reason that I am who I am and where I am is because I made everything I could see. I have a reputation that is unpredictable and difficult. I cherish that reputation. It's my enemies of God. I like to slip out of my shoes when there's something more comfortable and drink.
cherish that reputation for the things that enemies of God. I like to sit by my feet and something more comfortable and drink. I'm sorry, I'm so rude. I didn't do drink. This is disgustingly sweet. Can you just make it? Because the champagne's flat. Happy hours, my shit. Velvet, smooth, caviar. Not the kind you serve us. The champagne is too bad for the big taste instead of don't drink it. The caviar, I trust, is not bad. I really don't know. This is also trouble, and I prefer the Drosian breed. I'm what I am. citizens of London try to shape our ID in this unfamiliar environment interacting with it. The concrete structures of the buildings and the intangible structures of the English language affect equally our emotional and behavioral patterns in a mutual codependent relationship. The process I followed to insert our emotional mapping of London in this dystopia was the following. I sent chunk material that represent my image of the city through different means of expression, from Gwen Stefani's video to Bill Viola's works. Adapting Wittgenstein's theory about how language shapes our way of thinking, I thought the perfect way to obtain genuine and raw answers from her was to start a conversation at her mother language. So, uh, reflecting on the mental photographs we took during our journeys in the city, we discussed about space, colors, volumes, the relationship between light and shadow, and between body and space. What was considered to be the second step, I quickly translated her answers in order to overpass the linguistic barriers that blocked our intercultural dialogue. But this additional mediator is inadequate and misleading. So in this way, I surrender to the given fact that some things are meant to be lost in translation or lost in Google translation. The result of that conversation was this dystopia, or in other words, a digital heterotopia. As my relationship with the city and the citizens continues, this digital city will be infinitely accumulating in time and cyberspace. So, about the city, the citizens, and the experience. Who are we, the citizens? Who are we if not the fictitious, complex personas we create on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter? Our ID floats in the web too, being distorted, deconstructed, and reconstructed every time we click on another website. We are photoshopped, gender-fluid, hybrid, super-marios, princes and princesses, 
fragmented pieces constituted by a myriad of ideas that repose in the cyber world are missing dreams, exaggerated characteristics and quirks. We are what we click, we are becoming what results from that clicking, and we are growing up as accumulated data and pixels. Now, now about the city, what is the city if not its own citizens? And who are the citizens if not the reflection of the city in which they live? We are crossing that threshold where, whilst we have already overcome our natural origins, we are about to leave our concrete nature behind for the digital one. I am interested in investigating the transition of the experience when the terms of this dialogue, the city and the citizens, are transferred to their cyber substitutes, the Web 2 and the face personas, of course. Can we talk about a cyber phenomenology then? As an architect or someone that molds space, I notice these traumatic chains where architecture and space are about to be experienced only through renders, as 90% of the architectural production are beautiful realistic renders placed in this digital warehouse of lost proposals once the competition ends. And the experiential drawing of a Tian Le Boulet cenotaph for Newton is more in tune than ever. We experience space through pixels then. If psychogeography is the study of the specific effects of the geographical environment on the emotions and behavior of individuals, how the digital city can affect our fictitious personas' emotions, and how can this affect the physical city? Can we talk about digital psychogeography? So, about this post as a quality talk. This post talk that resembles to a fractal constitutes an experiment actually. It is unwrapped into the physical and digital world like a Mabius strip. Me and Chang's dialogue about London took place in the cyber neighborhood where, like in Friedrich's painting with a girl, uh, standing at the window, we opened our Facebook windows and start talking. The output of this dialogue was filtered through the Google Translator and then translated into digital volumes in a 3D architectural software. By recording the process of this landscape's construction, I wanted to capture the transition of the city while the dialogue was under development, and this construction is taking place outside the window of this software's frame with the toolbar, the menu, etc. In the same way as I look outside my window at King's Cross constructing area. Uh, the digital excavators, dozers and grains were the tools of the software that I used actually. So by projecting this digital environment on the walls of the bank space gallery, I insert it into the physical world again. It's the digital interpretation of London projected on the actual physical city. As no space is neutral, but hunted by memories that inhabitants left behind, this certain space has been left with traces of human identity from community interaction. By embodying this project into its walls, I try to change its memories and weave links between me and this concrete body. I touched and felt the walls, the room, the city and the pixels of my digitopia, following Sam J. Norman's interpretation of haunted spaces as spaces full of memories. What is, after all, haunting if not a memory in space? And what is a memory if not a haunting of a body? During the transition from the digital to the physical world, I was in an open dialogue with the cyber world by taking pictures and videos and then uploading them online. The digital documents capturing the physical exhibition space where the digital city is projected, which in its turn is the interpretation of the physical city. Through this experimenting, fractalic, multi-layered and frenetic process, I try to break or at least blur the boundaries between digital and physical. Um, the experience for a city is reposed in the digital environment, affecting our emotional behavioral patterns, and that has 
effects on the physical city actually want to extend the complexity of this theme to the limits I inserted my talk in a text-to-speech website where I chose Darth Vader's voice and recorded it so my physical body is possessed by a digital voice right now I'm possessed by Darth Vader I am possessed by the internet I am the internet fueled by Slavoj Zizek's interpretation of the voice as an external and unworldly haunting of our bodies, affecting its behavior, of course. What is our body if not just the medium to experience space? What are pixels that consist our Facebook personas if not another medium? Where is our ID after all formed in the physical or in the digital world? Its building, object and rock is a part of each person's memories and thus contribute to the formation of their identity. In the same way, photos on Instagram and Facebook, quotations on, it, on Twitter, data, video games haunt our memories as we are browsing in the web. We live into two parallel cities, the physical and the digital. Through repeated back and forth moves between digital and physical, I tried to connect those two points of this line. We experience Heidegger's being in the world in its alternative, the cyber being in the digital world. Are we here right now in the physical time and space or the digital ones? Are these walls made by bricks or pixels? Can our experience of the city become a video game?